We are hearing from the business community that students in general do not know how to interview. There's um, a huge momentum now between the businesses and the educators and that partnership seems to be growing between the businesses and educators. We have about 35 businesses here today conducting interviews. They have a schedule and they will interview up to seven students tonight. That's a good like practice, kind of like when you go to like a practice meet for track or something. It's kind of like the real thing, but at the same time you're like, this doesn't count against me. But you're in that scenario and where it's so real that you feel like you have to do your best. So I think it was a great experience for me and a great experience for everyone, a great way to end the semester because this is just a semester class. So um, yeah, great experience overall. It's just like the real thing. It's like real job interviewing. So no, it's not for a grade. It's just for experience and it's good experience. So I was doing an interview with the Nixa Chamber of Commerce. It's a big deal to interview with them, especially as a high schooler, and so I think it's a really good experience. I've been through some very tough interviews in the past, and uh, no matter how old you get, no matter how confident you are, mm -hmm. it, you just get nervous and uh, you can get tongue-tied, and uh, the more experience they have, the more times they can get in front of somebody and hear some of these questions the more they can experience it and know how to react when it really counts for them when they're out there looking for a good job. And I really think that's probably something that, that I'm excited about. I've worked in corporate America for a really long time. I've had a chance to interview um, a lot of people throughout my career and I, I've just, I can tell that, that the interview process really needs to start at this level. And so I was really excited to know that there's a program available to high school seniors to afford them the ability to to come and have um, this open forum to talk to so many different companies. So. This is the kind of thing that they need to know how to do correctly and not just a yes and no answer. You know, if I ask you, tell me something about you, don't say, ask, turn around and ask me a question, what do you want to know? I went through the hiring process about a year ago, so I'm using a lot of my real world um, questions that I asked to my candidates a year ago. Um, adding in, getting them career and future oriented, combining those in and just giving them a great mock interview for 15 minutes. I'm hoping that they will be better prepared uh, for when they do actually get into a real world situation, that they won't uh, have as much anxiety uh, when they're actually facing someone in college, a, a future employer, a prospective employer, so that they will be uh, better equipped and to answer questions that they might not be more narrowly prepared to answer. So that they kind of know what to expect when they get out into um, into the workforce. That, you know, I like to tell them that even the perfect job is going to have things that you don't like about it, so how do you handle those things and stuff like that as, as we go through the interview process, get them to think about some of that too. Well, it's always good to give students opportunities um, to grow and, and, and get them in the workforce. It's very difficult to compete in our economy and with jobs, and so it's always good to give them a leg up with uh, interviewing with real people from industry who do interviews all the time. Well, I just wish the kids good luck. I really do. Uh, I hope that they are, they are, they are future. They're the next generation, and uh, I want to see them all succeed. You know, I got vested interest in it, just like everybody else. You know, they're. They are our future, and our future leaders, our future community leaders, local leaders, and maybe beyond.